What's up, everyone? Mainly Hockey Cards here, and today, as with every month, I'm going over my January eBay purchase recap, as well as my recent Comp C shipment I've requested, so you guys can see exactly what I've been buying, the prices I've been paying, and an inside look on cards I'm investing in. Starting things off, I bought this Ovechkin second year Fleer Hockey Headliners insert for just $2.33. It's actually a pretty nice looking card commemorating the goal. Underrated insert, in my opinion. I bought this Quinn Hughes Platinum Rainbow hard signed rookie autograph for thirty thirty six. Very good deal that I was able to snag looking at newly listed cards just the other day. Shortly after the Hughes popped up, I bought a Cousins Young Gun for just twelve oh four, which is considerably less than what the most recent comps were at. I bought a Connor McMichael rookie lot for nine fifty five, and I really was just looking at the program of excellence canvas but also received a slew of other cards that should pay for the price of the lot and then some before I even have to move the canvas. A Kasperi Kapanen rookie auto out of 275 for 703. I don't really like picking up Kapanen, but I figure he could get moved for assets or he turns it on in the second half. Penguins are hot as well, so it's a nice plus and he's still young. Next, 2015-16 Upper Deck Young Guns for 3067. A little over $1.50 a card, and the notable young guns included here are Kevin Fiala, Josh Anderson, Connor Hellebuck, Sam Bennett, and Nikolai Ehlers. A five-card Red Wings lot, including most notably a Michael Rasmussen, the Cup Trilateral rookie jersey out of 33. This cost me $15.24 for the entire lot. A four-card Opeachy Platinum rookie auto lot running me $25.85. Somewhat impulsively, Riley Stillman, Nikolai Nizhov, Philip Myers, and the big one, Adam Boakfist. I'm starting to amass a nice little Boakfist PC at this point. I bought 19 2014-15 SP Authentic Premier Prospects rookie cards for $7.95. And while I understand these are quite low end, I really just like the look of them, and they're from a popular set. Notable names include Tara Vinen, Ekblad, Nurse, Gaudreau, Kuznetsov, Reinhardt. I just like them. Now for what's incoming from Com C. Six Marco Rossi draft ready inserts at 28 cents each, as well as two CHL class retros at 30 cents each. For Lafreniere, one special edition rookie for a buck 93. I did overpay a little bit on that. One net deposits for 88 cents and two allure rookies at 99 cents each. A Kaprizov net deposits for $1.55. Two Stutzla medal rookies for 92 cents each. One Curtis Douglas CHL auto for one whole dollar. Four Sonny Milano young guns at 288 each. He's cooled off considerably. 12 Cole Perfetti AHL rookies at 32 cents each. I feel that even his pre rookie cards are being relatively undervalued in the grand scheme of things. Eight Kale McCarr rookie portraits for 81 cents each. Crossing my fingers that they're mint since they're stock images. Eight Connor McMichael OPG Blue Rookies for $0.34 cents each. I feel that these grade pretty well, and it could be like a nice little play, you know, at the right price of $0.34. Cents. I don't know. We'll see. Four Bowen Byram OPG Blue Rookies for $0.55 cents a piece. Again, low price. They usually come out mint. You know, we'll see how it goes. One Jonathan Huberdeau Prism Rookie at a great price of just $5.92. My dad amassed an amazing collection of Huberdeau over the years. Tons of weird parallels and underrated cards. Basically the stuff that nobody else was collecting. And it's paying off for him handsomely this year. Kudos to him. I'm finally having my Malkin Pivotal Players Gold Prism out of 10 sent to me, which ran me a $36.25 a few months earlier. I'm a little skeptical on grading this one, though I think it should get graded. The centering just doesn't look right on it. Five Tony D'Angelo Young Guns for $2.89 each. He's still having a heck of a year, 33 points in 35 games, and no sign of slowing down. Two Victor Soderstrom Young Guns canvases for $2.17 each. I'm pretty high on this guy. And lastly, three Arthur Kaliev Young Guns for $5.80 each. Another player I'm pretty high on. Overall, nothing too high-end this month, but pretty pleased with prices of almost every item I bought and lots of really easy flips as well as some nice investment pieces. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Thanks, everyone.